right, so we're ready to add our color um, to our perspective drawings. Now we're going to be using watercolor. So when we get started with the watercolor, it's a good idea to try to fill in the background first and then kind of tighten up um, with our more detailed things up front. Now you can use the um, set of watercolors like this. Um, the only problem is that we have very few right now that have blue in them. So um, if you have blue, you can use the set. If you can't find one with blue, then you can use these tubes of watercolor. There are two different kinds of blue. There's um, this one that's called phthalo blue or one that's called ultramarine blue. Um, you can see which one you like the best. These you put into a little palette and just squeeze a tiny bit out because you don't need a lot with watercolor since you're gonna be mixing this with water. Now, um, I would suggest doing your sky first. So what we're gonna do for that is use a bigger brush and we're gonna use the wet on wet method for um, watercolor for the sky. So um, remember that you fill your brush container like this with water and you can use that. And then you also wanna have paper towels on hand. Now I'm gonna show you a way to um, make it look like there are clouds in the sky, um, which is pretty cool. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just apply water along the outline of my sky here. And then it's pretty cool because once you drop the paint onto the area that's wet, so I'm getting my palette, I'm gonna get a little extra water in my blue here. Once you put that onto the wet paper, it kind of blends out. And I'm just going really carefully along my edges here. I'm gonna get my brush wetter, add more water to the surface here. Now to add clouds, you can take paper towel and dab that on the surface and you get a really nice texture that kind of leaves the appearance of clouds in the sky and it just lifts a little bit, you get a really nice soft texture there. Add a little more color down here.
And then I'm going to put some clouds in on this side. And watercolor is really great. Like if you decide that you want to have um, a sunset or colors like that, then um, blending the colors with watercolor is really easy and looks really nice. 